This is perhaps my favourite poem. Uh, it's by Francis Beaumont, who lived from 1586 to 1616. He was reflecting on the tombs in Westminster Abbey, as the title suggests, and he looks around and he sees the frailty of life, the, the, the imminence of death for us all, and how rich or poor death comes to us all. And so he talks in this poem about how we cannot trust in our greatness, our wealth, or even our, uh, our confidence in our success. It's because ultimately everything leads to chaos and to death. And there's no hope in this poem at all. It ends with, with great sadness and great lamentation. It just it ends abruptly with, with death. Uh, that's not, of course, the only interpretation of Beaumont's work, but this particular poem is deeply discouraging. So let me read it to you this morning. On the Tombs in Westminster Abbey by Francis Beaumont. Mortality, behold and fear, what a change of flesh is here. Think how many royal bones sleep within this heap of stones. Here they lie, had realms and lands, who now want strength to stir their hands. Where from their pulpits sealed with dust, they preach, in greatness is no trust. Here's an acre sown indeed with the richest royalist seed that the earth did e'er suck in since the first man died for sin. Here the bones of birth have cried, though gods they were, as men they died. Here are sands, ignoble things, dropped from the ruined sides of kings. Here's a world of pomp and state, buried in dust, once dead by fate.